friends in this video i'm going to tell you many features about excel even how to make bar graphs and many things in excel so i always tell you in videos to make new excel spreadsheet so uh, right click on the desktop screen click on new and then click on microsoft excel worksheet or you can type excel over here or if you have already a document you can add bar graphs or add many things in that so i have already opened I'll just show you the main screen also how it looks. So type Excel and click on open. So I've already opened it. Then this opens in a window like this. Then there are many good evening. It will come blank workbook. Welcome. If you want more templates, if you don't want like this, just click on more templates. Then there are many over here. So I just want a blank workbook but i have already opened it here you go so there are how to merge cells just select some cells i have already made a video how to uh, subtract and add and divide divide and multiply in excel so please see that also so select how many cells you want so i have selected these many then on or here on the bar there is this option click on that it's called as merge and center just uh, click on that and then whole thing is merged if you unmerge if you want to unmerge it you can click on you can uh, press ctrl z or just click on the same thing over here and here are the alignment left alignment center alignment and uh, this is right aligned in this justified alignment is not there so you can even do bar graphs in excel so you have to give some information for it so i will give some information for this i will make some maybe about views so this is not enough so when you come here when you go to this abcd on this tab over here the the cursor changes to this so i'll just drag it like this the width changes so i can change it to the width you can even change the width of length also so if you go here you can change the height or here you can change the width so i want it back i'll just press ctrl z so i'll just type number of views then go to this then i'll type some video names of my own so this much space is not enough i'll just mm, change this size yeah so not number of views have to change it. if you, you if you're not able to type over here this is the type, this is the bar where you can type so i'm typing name of the video video so let's give it some information for the bar graph so some video names i'll just give two or three so i have written some let's type more so excel so we'll type two more that's it and then we'll make a bar graph out of it I didn't write the whole thing because it will take a lot of time. So I have written some video name. So now let's type the just the example. I'm not writing the real number of views. So just type a random number of views. I'll put uh, 13 like a random number. So it's done. 
do so you have to do it what you have to do is you have to select all of this and select all of this hmm. So this is the data of the bar graph. You can even add all of this if you want to find that you just want to make a table, random table. You can just type total over here and just type total. And I, I have said in the last video, may, maybe in the Excel, just a easy way is to click on equal to and then select some numbers and cl click on the num this one like just see that video also friends so all of this will get selected and then click on enter uh, so the something happened so you have to just select all of this uh, when you select all of this then if when you go to the insert tab there's uh, there are some recommended chart. There are many options, but you can see the bar graph over here. So click on that, and then you can uh, select any one you want. So cluster column is better. I am I'm just choosing that. Then the bar graph is inserted. So the title is there. The title is number of views. If you want to just edit, you can uh, type over here or yeah just type over here now if you just want to change the title to number of views in youtube so you can do this so i will show there are some design there are many designs or here switch row select data there are many charts you can even drag and drop the whole chart if you don't want it over here you can just drag the whole chart and keep it. You can even adjust the size of this chart, increasing the size of this. Dumb, it's, it's very important. You can just drag and drop uh, these four dots over here. So there are many select data switch row. You can even change the colors of these bars. So I'll uh, change it to, there are colors over here. You can change some if you want there are so many options so this is important when you want to make bar graphs uh, if so like this you can drag and drop this over here so the bar graph is moved you can do many things in excel if you want so if you go to insert tab there are some illustrations so this is the example of a pie chart it's also called a donut chart so more pie chart there are some if I choose this, it will uh, give you, okay, look at this, the, you can only insert one, so the, it is given, all of the numbers, everything, so this is a pie chart, this is some biggest one in this, 45, so this is the, how to divide an Excel, so it's very important when you do bar graphs and all, you can insert symbols, special characters, these are special characters which are not there on your keyboard. So if you want repeat symbols, you can search over here. So these symbols you don't have on your keyboard. So you can just click on some cell. Click on the symbols tab. Then click on symbol. And then if I choose this one, it will immediately insert. If I click on insert, it will be inserted. So there are so many options. Illustration. Uh, table you don't have to do already because already there is a some uh, in there are some, so there are many options there are links you can insert links or something Ta like now if you want to insert a, a link of a word document you have to go to the insert tab and then go to link in the home tab you can add borders also so over here there is formatting cell so format as table also there are many cell. so this is where you add borders same thing first you have to select cells everything you have to start selecting cells so i have selected these many cells 
when you go to this option it last bottom border top border left border you can only choose uh, anything so i am choosing all borders so that it look good so when you take a screenshot these are not so thick so you can select how many ever cells you want and then uh, this will be good for that then you can add borders there are ideas you can even delete something these this uh, if you don't know if you this is hard for you you can use the function over here some so sin max everything is there if you want to change the font so i will type awesome i'll type please subscribe then you have to select this uh so it has come like this you can just increase the size of this because it will look good then you have to select this text then over here you can just increase the font size so there are many fonts hundreds of fonts so just i am choosing this for just an example and the font uh, size is over here you have to not choose more because the height height will change so if i choose 36 uh you can't see it because the length of this is not enough for that if you increase the length it will automatically increase so it doesn't look good for a title it will look absolutely awesome but it's not looking good for this now please subscribe okay. so the this is the font color font color if you want to change then or here it is the fill color of this cell if you want to fill color of this cell it's just white right you can go to this option then click on the drop down menu and there are some options you can select some so i'll just show you an example how you can use this for so let me do over here so i go to the insert over here so if i make it like a heading so it's good for a heading you can color this here. so it has gone to the another cell just increase the width of this then it will be perfect you can uh, increase the height of this so that it look good so there are many options you have uh, it look good, like this when you increase the length height so you have to change the font size also then only it will set correctly you can see so 16 is uh, set you can type while making tables you can just type over here so i have made a table right uh, data everything i have given so that you can use so if you want to make a workbook on the bottom bar or here there is sheet 1 so if you want you can select a new sheet and if you want it uh, you can create many sheets it's unlimited you can rename it also so right click on this uh, there is move rename if you delete it it will delete then there is a rename then there are insert protect sheet you can move or copy also there are some options over here also so this is a work bo workbook i can create a bar graph over here and a bar graph over here also you can create many things and these are the cut copy paste options and uh, if you go to the help option if you want something watch new there are feedback you can give feedback using this uh, data there are many options bye friends i'll make more videos like this please like share and subscribe